what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? An Atlanta security guard got beat into submission after he refused three women entrance into a hotel restaurant because they were not wearing masks. Who you got, fam? Security guard or the three women? If you have the security guard, you may want to consider that the governor of Georgia opened up the state, including restaurants, so patrons are not required to wear a mask. If you have the women's side, you may want to consider that they were very aggressive. Was that even necessary? Now, from the camera angle, it was hard to tell who pushed who first. It seems as though the security guy initiated contact. It looks like he kind of like kicked one of them. Hard to tell because of the camera angle. There was some shoving going on. The women were up in, their fa in his face. They got all the way up in his face. This could have turned out really, really bad for either party. But a security guard, oftentimes, they're strapped. And if dude was strapped and had pulled his piece, he could have blew one of them women away real fast. And who knows? He may have walked. I don't like to see women fight. I think that fighting should be for the warriors, the men. Woman got a problem, you know, get at the man in your life and see if he can work it out, help you work it out. I'm not saying that that means you go to a man, any little old problem you have, you go to a man, he go and damn fight for you, right or wrong. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I don't like to see women fight. It's, it's just a very uncivilized thing to me when I see women fighting. Those women did not have to do what they did. They could have simply backed off. Well, they, they had a right to complain because they were in the right. So they had a right to complain, but to try to force their way in, you know that's not going to turn out right. It's just not going to turn out right. Right or wrong, it's not going to turn out right. So what you do, you fall back, perhaps even film it. Let people see it and show your proof that you're being denied to walk into this restaurant. Then you double back, get with your lawyer, hit him in the pocket. Bam! Get the money. And then you got even more power now because you kept yourself out of harm's way and you dug in their pockets and you got respect on top of that. They'll definitely know the next time around not to try to handle you like that or anybody else like that because they don't want to get hit in the pockets again. Reminds me of a time that I went to Popeye's in Louisiana. I had gotten off my tour bus. I had my crew with me. I walked inside of the restaurant and it was dirty. It was rush hour time, so you know, I gave them a little leeway because I figured, you know, they're a little behind, they rushed, there's a lot of people in line. So I was trying to be patient, but I did ask the woman, the manager, to, well, at first I asked one of the workers to, uh, can they bring somebody out to clean the lobby? So they told me they would. You know, good five, 10 minutes later, I'm still standing, we're waiting. So I asked again, and the manager, black chick, we said we'll be out there, real nasty attitude. The old me would have went ballistic. 
I would have walked right into the trap. But that's what she wanted me to do. She was used to being loud and disrespectful to her customers. She wanted me to fall right into the trap. And when I didn't, it tripped her out. When I called corporate, got on the phone, told them who I was, I was like, yeah, and I'm here with my, my team. We eat at Popeye's at least twice a week offline. Like we eat at Popeye's at least twice a week and we've been doing this for the last 10 years. I spend a lot of money with this company and I've never been treated the way I was treated today. I was totally embarrassed. <laughs> I'm pouring it on. It's like, I would like for her to be reprimanded. She has no business working at Popeye's. This company is better than that. Popeye's can do better, I'm sure. And she can hear me the whole time I'm talking. And so can the other customers. And they're going like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, dude's like, yeah, see, that's what you get. You can't talk to people in any kind of way. I told you, I told you, somebody was gonna get you. I called them back. Well, actually, they called me back on that Monday because that was a Friday and it was evening time and the clock was winding down. So they called me back on Monday. I spoke with the VP of Popeyes and he told me that she had been fired. For proof, I called the location and I asked to speak with her and the guy on the phone said, she's not here. And I said, well, can you let me know when she'll be back in? He said, well, she doesn't work here anymore. I said, well, can you give me the phone number to where she does work at, the, the location she works at? And he said, she's no longer with the company. That's how you do it. Hit him in the pocket, I told you. America don't seem to understand anything but money and blood. That's it. If you want to get somebody's attention in America, money, blood. Blood, it's a little more conflict and things that go along with that. So if you can hit them in the pocket, hit them in the pocket. I took the high road and I hit her in the pocket. It cost her way more, me hitting her in the pocket, than it would have, I, it would have cost me. Had I done something crazy, I'll be the one, I would have been the one in jail. And I was the victim in that situation, but I would have ended up in jail. So they didn't do that. I don't think this is over. I think they'll probably get arrested and charged. And it's going to cost them something. I don't think they're going to get away with this scot free. Because, you know, usually if you, you attack somebody on their job, you're going to jail. But anyway, drop a comment and let me know what you think about all of this. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.